Hello, my name is Asil Kayal and I'm a security researcher at Kaspersky's Global Research and Analysis Team, also known as GREAT, and I am based in Israel. There are different paths into uh, cybersecurity. Some people are passionate about this field from a very young age, while others find their way into it later on in the future, and I think I fall under the second category. Uh, so if you would have asked me about cybersecurity uh, a few years ago, I really wouldn't have known much about this field. Uh, but as a student during my first degree, I was studying computer science and English literature, and I started looking for an entry-level position. And someone I knew told me there is a position for students where he worked at Checkpoint. And this was a security analyst uh, job where you would start working in the company um, as a student, but after you finish the degree, you move on to a full-time uh, software development position. And given that I only had coding experience during my degree, I was very drawn to the software development part. But after I got the job, I got the chance to work on some very intriguing investigations and get to know cybersecurity uh, a bit more. And I was definitely more drawn to that field. And I decided to stay within it and work in research for full time, even after I finished my degree. I think that uh, despite the fact that researchers or defenders have a very limited insight into the activity of attackers, we can uh, still use the little information that is available for us to construct the bigger image and to even uncover the attacker's entire operation. So a lot of the times our investigations start with only one file or one suspicious website, and we have to kind of follow the fingerprints that might have been left there and try to connect the dots and understand just from this one thing, just based on that, who the attacker is, who they are targeting, what they are after, how long this activity has been going on for, and so on. So this for me is the one thing that I really like because first of all, it shows just how powerful research can be and also how future attacks can sometimes be prevented just by investigating existing threats. One of the challenges I face all the time is trying to look for new threats to investigate or to find new lesser known attackers. Now, of course, there are many threat actors or attackers that both us and other peers or researchers in the industry already keep track of and we can follow their more recent activity because we have seen those similar patterns in the past. Uh, but over time, even those previously exposed attackers they improve their tactics, they uh, attempt to evade detection, they introduce new and unknown tools we have not seen before and take many more steps that make uh, identifying them or detecting them harder. And with new players or unknown attackers, this is even more of a challenge as we're looking for this unknown thing, we're trying to find those unique traces among all of this noise, and this can be quite a tedious process. Sometimes when we are investigating advanced threats or advanced threat actors, the full picture can be quite complex or quite distorted. And I think if we try to take it apart or look at the smaller details of it, we will understand the uh, attack much better. And this is generally my approach to this problem. So instead of uh, asking myself too many complex questions or trying to understand the full picture, I try to come up uh, with easy ways and I try to uh, simplify the problems to uh, identify this malicious behavior and to find those uh, anomalies. So I try to think about this from a different perspective or from the attacker's perspective and think about what the attacker would have done to uh, gain access to a system and after they would have gain access to a system, how they would have stolen information and how they would have communicated with their own servers and so on and try to think along those lines uh, to search for new threats by looking at only a small part of the uh, chain at first and not at the whole thing. And although I said at the beginning that uh, hunting can be uh, quite a tedious process, I think that 
once successful, this can yield some of the best results and best investigation stories. A recent uh, investigation that we worked on called Luminous Moth exposed a large-scale attack against the Philippines and Myanmar. The malware in this case propagated via removable drives, which means that if a USB was connected to an infected system, the malware will copy itself to the USB drive and then the next system this USB drive is connected to will also be infected. And this is how the malware spread this quickly. And unlike most targeted attacks where we see a limited set of targets, in this case we identified hundreds of victims. Um, in the Philippines alone there were nearly 1,500 targets. Uh, so I was really happy when we uh, worked on this research and when we exposed this operation and were able to uh, put a stop to this crazy infection rate at the end of it. My first advice would be uh, not to compare yourself to others that much and not to put too much pressure on yourself because this is a really broad industry and even within um, different specialties in it there are too many things to learn it can just be very overwhelming so try and focus on the things that you are passionate about or the skills that are needed for the specific job that you are seeking and my second advice for newcomers would be to um, carefully choose your education sources. So a lot of newcomers or new people rush to get certifications and um, some companies even include that as a requirement for the job or as a qualification. Many of those uh, certificates are quite expensive and if you are doing an exam it can be really time consuming. and. There are also great alternatives online or great courses that you can find that are even for free and can offer you the same uh, level of material. Uh, so my advice would be to again consider your education sources and consider how important getting th that certificate is for you or for the next job that you are trying to get. And remember that even if someone has a certificate or if they are certified, that definitely does not mean that they are more knowledgeable or more skillful than you are.